Hi there, welcome to JD Answers. Today I'll be going over the rear bumper protector, which really is going to go in on top here. I'm going to show you why I'm going to put this rear bumper protector. One of the main reasons is, as you can see, I have this little scuff here. Right? Uh, I was in a, in a store and a car backed up into me. I was in the store, I came out, this is what happened. So thank you for whoever did that. But anyways, rather than going through insurance and paying thousands of dollars or my deductible really and bring another claim on my insurance, I'm going to go ahead and try to see if I could just cover this up. So this is one of the steps that I'm going to do to see if it works. And in your comments, you can let me know if it looks good, if it doesn't, and let me know what, what you think. So the first thing we want to do is see what's in the box really. You got your protector, which is here. You got your squeezy, your squeezy by Red Honda. Your alcohol preps. And your set of instructions, which I'll be your instructions today. So the first thing you want to do is really wash this area. I washed my car about two days ago, but I think it's time to at least clean up this part here. So I'm going to do that first. Now it does come with two alcohol prep pads to do for uh, for this bumper area, but you could use regular alcohol too to clean this area to make sure it's nice and ready for the, uh, the, the adhesive when it gets on there. What I am worried about really is this little break here. Um, if it doesn't really turn out too good, I might just tear it out here and put something in there to hold it up that area. But you can see it has a little lip to it. All right, now I'm gonna flip it over, kind of dry it a little bit now. All right, while that's drying, what we need to do is figure out what is the center of this area. And you wanna use is some type of marking that's gonna really erase, like a dry erase marker or a pencil and so forth. Using the locking mechanism for the car, I'm going to use this as my center point, which is here. I'm, not, I'm sure you probably can't see it, but it's going to go here as my center point for this. Got my dry erase marker starting from the center point. I'm going to make my marking right there. So that's the center. Once you got the center, you want to get your adhesive strip, your protector really. Fold it in half so you know you have the center mark. I'm going to crease it here. It's not really going to do anything to the front part. I can see my crease here. So this is where you, I'm going to put it. All right. So you can see where it's covering that one part. So now I got to do is take off the adhesive and work it on there. It's probably better to work with two people, but I'm by myself today. So let's see what I could do here. I'm going to take about half off. On this side, I'm going to take off a little portion here, just so the other side could be held down. Uh, doesn't tear off. Well, that one did. Okay. I got a little piece torn here. All right. I might get in the way in the camera, but I'm just trying to see what I can do here. Okay, so I'm gonna center it on my line with the crease on the area pretty much where I want it. I wanna get as close as I can. I'm using a reflective line that it has on there. I'm gonna hold this down here, a little piece. This is the only thing that's holding it right now is that little piece that I took off to see how far I need to go in. 
I'm pretty much a quarter of an inch from the edge. I want to get closer, so I'm going to pick it up and move it closer. I think I wanted that area. I'm at the crease. I'm not really putting it on there, I'm just laying it down. And you can see I have one whole hand I could put here. Then here I got three fingers, so it's still not the crease. I moved the crease, so let's do that again. Let me find my crease. Got it. Make sure you keep with your crease because you can see what happened with me. My crease is in the center, so I know I'm good. I'm getting closer to the edge as this side. I want this part right here there. I think we're good. Now, what you want to don't want to do is cut from one point and work this way. You want to try to press going out, okay? But remember, I haven't got this part in yet. So I'm gonna go out. I press this down one time only. I'm gonna open up this flap and take out the rest of the backer. Okay, now getting it back. Trying to figure, make sure I have the right place. Okay. All right, so it's on. I got about three fingers, three fingers, so I'm good on each side. The center work with the crease I made. Um, I already went once. Now here, I'm gonna move the camera closer so you can see the lip here, okay? Okay, we're right here at the crease, all right? You can see how it bubbles up. So I'm gonna go ahead and just keep press firmly. And to my eye, and maybe yours that I put it up closer, you could see how it's not gonna be real smooth. But maybe from afar, like one car length, let's see how it looks. All right, so I'm pressing. You see how there was one little bubble. And I'm going out, pressing it over the lip. You're probably saying, but you could still see this here. What's gonna happen? Well, I got another item that I ordered. And there'll be the second video of this to see if it's in a, it's in a bumper protector that's gonna go cover this whole bumper. The squeegee you really didn't need. As long as you press firmly and with the heat. All right. Using the squeegee. That way I can't blame Brent Hunt. It doesn't work. Or if it doesn't stick. But it really looks, I mean, it looks pretty firm. It looks real good in there. I can't get no lips. And that is it. That's pretty much simple how it was to, to get it in there. And the, your, when you had your uh, alcohol, just tips to the side and the marking's gone. Let's close the trunk. There you go. This is how it looks from afar. To me, it looks good. Even where the tear in the bumper, you really don't see it uh, bubbling up too much. So, I like this. I think this uh, rear bumper protector from Red Hondo is a good buy. Next part will be to do a bumper protector that covers all this and see if we can get rid of this. So estimate that I took it for was, I think it was $1,800 roughly. This was under $25. And with the bumper protector, it's gonna be another $35. So with $60, I wanna see if I could get this looking like new. Okay, I want to show you how I take into the car wash about five times already by now and I'm going to show you the adhesive after it's gone through there and it's also rained several times too. So I'm going to show you how the, the rubber adhesive is still attached to the car.
If this video was helpful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Collect all notifications for upcoming videos. I also do dash cams, HDMI uh, splitters. I also do watches and other gadgets. So, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.